Okay, so here's the North Star. And so basically I'm gonna do a couple things here. Uh, I'm gonna tell you how to check this tube here. Uh, this is a small circulation tube for the radiator. It goes underneath here. Uh, and it goes through here. And it helps to remove the bubbles, I would imagine, if there's any, uh, um, if the system needs to be purged, basically. And so some of them actually have this tube. I think it goes all the way to the other side. And so one way to check this is, of course, you want your machine to be cold. You take this tube off here, take your cap off, blow into this tube. And if you hear it bubbling in here, then you know that tube is clear. And so this one here has an overheating problem once and I'm not sure why. Um, basically, this is the one that had the crack radiator. I just replaced the radiator. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a manual switch for one of the fans. Okay, so this is actually the fan wire right there. This is the fan wire. Uh, so I was going to try and find the ground because you know there's already one wire hooked up here. And the one wire we don't need to duplicate. Basically, there's a green wire and a yellow wire. And the way I found this was basically you just take a meter and you lift the continuity, you push to see which wire has continuity to ground. And in this, this instance, you have the yellow wire to the ground and the green wire is the power wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wire up a direct switch so that we can power the Okay, so I got that hooked in there. I had to splice the wire onto that. If you catch one, that basically these fans aren't individual. Basically, they they they're either on or off. So uh, on some cars, there's a one fan for a certain temperature. Then there's two fans for another temperature. This one is just on all the time. Uh, so it's just one when the heat when it when it calls for cooling. Basically, both fans come on. And so let's let's test it here. We got we can hear them. We got both fans coming off. So not not a lot of sound. There's a little bit of sound. You can hear it. And so uh, what I'll need to do is put a switch inside somewhere. I could also put a manual snap thermostat on here. It's a snap thermostat. It's a thermostat that when it reaches a certain temperature. It automatically comes on and uh, that's another way to do it okay so where is the transmission dipstick on this Cadillac it's actually under this thing right here basically you have to take this off and there'll be a small little dipstick underneath basically right under here and it's actually you can see part of it right there and so that's basically you have to take this off this thing off to read it if you look here you sort of see it right in there it's that black cap right in there you can see sort of part of the black cap and so basically no easy way to check this one. And so that's where your transmission dipstick is. Have to take this off to get to it. So thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347. I give phone advice for $25.